The Flyers lose this one to the Carolina Hurricanes, one to nothing in Raleigh. Welcome into Post Game Live, presented by Curado Insurance. Ashlyn Sullivan, Al Morganti, back here with you in Philadelphia. The Flyers only 19 shots on goal in this game that is tied for the second fewest of the season. The Flyers have done that three times this year. My gosh, it's the moral of the story, Al. You can fight so hard defensively. Your goaltender can play so well but you can't score. Can't score, and they really, it's a shame because they got great goaltending. Uh, they come in, and the goaltender makes terrific saves, a couple of individual efforts by young guys that come in, but it was like Carolina almost put their hand out and just said, well, that's enough, that's enough. That's, you, know, we, you know, you look at the shots, although the shots on goal aren't that lopsided, basically Carolina took almost 70 shots at goal, and the Flyers 30. That's where you were in this game. It's just, uh, it was overwhelming uh, possession time mm -hmm. um, by Carolina, and the Flyers played really hard, blocked a ton of shots, uh, but the discrepancy was, you know, the amount of time Carolina could keep it in the zone. All they needed was the one goal, it seemed like, because the, the Flyers just couldn't mount an attack. Yes, and that one goal happened two minutes yeah. into the game. It's our Colonial Nissan game changer. Sechnikov on the power play. It didn't take much, and this is all the Carolina Hurricanes needed this game. Yeah, real early power play. There it is. Not much by Hayes there. I guess, you know, a veteran player goes down as he feels a stick coming across, and then this is strange to me because Sechnikov's usually not in this spot, playing a bumper roll almost. He's usually at the outside where he launched a ton of shots tonight, but that one was perfect. He found some space right there. Just gets into a spot. I guess you call it a quiet spot. There you see the, the parting of the ways because he found that spot between the two. Watch these two flyers right in between, almost like a bridge that you go through. He found that spot, full credit. He launches the, the goal, and he had several other better opportunities. And the goaltender was too good for Philadelphia. Yeah, I think that's the biggest surprise yes. of the game is Feshnikov. You heard his name, my gosh, 30 times. So they only yeah. have one goal, credit the Flyers' defense. And that's what Torts has kept saying these final, now 17 games. This is the way the Flyers have to play in order to keep themselves in it. Yeah, that and hopefully goaltending performance like they saw tonight. Because this guy, Sandstrom, he was just, these not, it's just not the number of saves. These were real, we've mentioned Shvetschenkov again, again and again. He had a lot of great opportunities, great looks. And they got a couple of power plays early and he continued to stop them right there. And it was an athletic performance because he had to go from post to post a couple of times on this. He made some big saves and then got on rebounds. So he didn't let much get through that way. And then athletically again, having to go post to post. You don't want want the goaltender to have to have plays like this to come out make a stop like that and then have to make two saves basically because of the coverage that that happens because of just the amount of time that Carolina had in the zone Carolina was ba basically just planted that they just planted their possession time right there and said we're not leaving this offensive zone around and around they went and goaltender was forced to make save after save sometimes on his backside sometimes with the glove Every kind of save imaginable he's forced to make, look behind him, come out front, and then have to look at the point again to take another one. So every kind of save was on display tonight. Yes, a beautiful night for Felix Sandstrom. Sadly, it was not enough for the Flyers to get the victory. They lose the Carolina Hurricanes one to nothing tonight. We have much more to come here on Post Game Live, presented by Curado Insurance. We're talking about the new guy. He's our logger up. What an incredible night for him. Stay with us. Flyers Post Game Live is presented by Pure Auto Insurance. See how much you can save at pure.com.